yeah, we can paint these ones. I just have like a small thing to do anyways. I'll probably just keep doing it until like I drink too much and my brain gets soft. Jobs have had like a hundred different jobs. Like I've worked at a bunch of fast food places and fucking gas stations and restaurants and a teacher and a computer programmer, a house painter. I've done everything, you know? Uh, and the only constant that like makes it okay is having like a background thing. For me, art isn't self-expression. You know, if you do art, you're more like a channeling something. There's not really a person making it, like you're just accidentally there putting the stuff out and it like, I don't know, I can't tell if it makes a difference to other people or not. They like say it, it does for them and that's cool. They always get dirty somehow. There's always like stuff you can clean up on them. down here is missing so she can get out I was telling someone I was like yeah I gotta go to my studio I'm doing this 3d mosaic on the roof and I was, they were like asking why, and I was like, yeah, why? <laughs> Wait a second, no one's paying me. Like, so I just read in some book, some guy that was like, you always need to ask yourself why over and over again. Like, why am I doing this? And you're like, is it because I want to make this amount of money or whatever? And then if you find out what the actual why you're doing it is, if there's a better way to do it, you need to like fess up to yourself and change. But I tried to ask myself that about like this art crap that I'm doing. I'm like, why am I doing this? And I have no answer. to just have fun at this point. So if you make it or not though, it doesn't matter. You, you know, if you have a good time along the way, you won. Uh... Whenever I started reading The Existentialist when I was like 20, but one of the epigraphs of their book says, oh my soul, do not aspire for a mortal life, but exhaust the limits of the possible. It's like a quote from Pindar, who's a Latin guy. I don't even know what that means, but whatever Latin is. And I always liked that quote, like, exhaust the limits of the possible. And the whole book talks about how if there's no God and there's no anything, you just have to find some sort of, like, all life is absurd then. Like, nothing makes sense because you realize that, like, it doesn't matter what you do. And so you have to, like, set up imaginary goals for yourself and maybe that's like why I'm doing art because it's just like an imaginary goal I've set up for myself that kind of doesn't end or something.